Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I was just going to hop into Green Machine and do a, a quick lap. Talking about how I haven't been able to race. The, uh, the, the Tesseract. To see if it's if turning off catch-up effects. I'm not sure with non-contact off that might get rid of that anyway. But anyway, the purpose of this whole conversation was to, at any rate just to uh, just to talk about why I'm going to buy another one while they're still on sale. Let's see who is here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll go right into the spinzy doodle. And the guy in the nice suit. <laughs> so non contact takes away some of the uh, issues. Let's we'll see. Let's see how this thing does in an actual race. This is the first time I've actually raced it. Now, I've taken it around Green Machine. I know it'll make the jumps, not like my dev state where sometimes things go wrong. I do like uh, I do like the way it handles. When you go into turn and you start to push it a little bit, it does a nice kind of drift. I and mean, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't snap around on you. It's more prone to to being a drifty kind of car. But not in like a uh, an out of control sense where it's snapping around. It's just it's, it's, it's very controlled. It's, it's it's a very easy car in some senses to drive. Now I'm not saying it's fast. Like obviously, you know, the fact that it's not affected by catch up. See that? See how it kind of just progressively starts to, to slide for you. So you, you know when you're at the limits and you can lift off. Well, I got one little drift in there. That was good. Top speed is not horrible. That guy just cracked. But you know, it's no divest day. I mean, I think my time. Let me see how what kind of time I pulled down on this. I think my best lap the last time I played Green Machine, which was the first time with this car, was 255. I looked it up on the on the leaderboard, and I think my best was a 239 with the divest day. See, that's not necessarily the fastest way through this. Turn, I'm, I, I grant you, but it is kind of nice, kind of fun. Okay, now that's gone a little bit cockeyed, but we're going to. Uh, but you'll notice it does float up really high. I don't have to angle the car around just to get to get on the platform. You know, it's like the Devastate. It's almost like it's just really heavy, whereas this feels really light. Watching the review from Ruffy1322, he says the arrow on it is very good. It's, it's very slippery. Low coefficient of drag, so that's where it picks up its, its speed from. Now, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to find out how well this thing does once you get out in the lead, because I'm not going nearly fast enough. Yeah, I mean, a Nero Custom is going to take it on. A... But drifting it through those turns kind of fun. I mean, again, you can see, not as fast as a Nero Custom. I may not hold fifth because, I mean, I just don't have the gumption in this car. I was going to say, I was going to do that Slide, slide. Some 
right on me. So people go on about this. Oh, the Tesseract's the fastest car in the game because it doesn't have... It's not affected by catch-up. It's clearly not. I mean, I did get through that turn better than that other guy, but that's because he put it in the wall. But it's not a stressful car to drive. I mean, it's, it's not. Sorry, that was stressful. I came, I, that was, just took the jump the wrong way. But I mean, we were going to we be lucky to hang on to fifth, to be perfectly honest. I don't, I don't know if this is a top five car. That'll take three seconds or so off to push my best day on the Okay, had to lift there. I mean, if I was in the Krieger right now, I'd be doing so much better. I mean, I just don't have the top speed or the acceleration to, to go after the top speed. That's not really the point of the race. The point of this, of taking this out, is just to show you kind of how nice and basically pleasant the car to drive, which is why, while it's only $1.7 million, instead of... 2.8 million. Look, you get 2.8 million, this car is not worth it. Not even close. I mean, look at that. In the last couple things that I dropped down to eighth. Whee! Simply, you know, because people overpowered me coming, coming across there. So it's definitely not the fastest car in the game, but... For taking it around the lap, it looks like you're just hot lapping it. It, it is pleasant. Guys, please turn off cheats and play fair. Okay. So simple. I don't know, bear people cheating. I doubt it. The Krieger is just a Krieger. 239 is, I mean, I've pulled 239s. That's not a cheat. I did do a 255, so I've done better with this, but let's get like. So I'm going to get one in blue and, or blue and orange for uh, Rusty Jack here. Let's see what we can do. Let's, let's do a comparison now. Same crew. I need to take a look at the map on the gauntlet. I don't... I remember the features of the gauntlet. Oh, really <sighs> but... Well, that's a lot of straights. I think it's time to bring out uh, the Devastate for this one. Customs off! Customs off. I don't have a custom. Turn off the customs. Fine. Turn off the customs. That's all good, too. Someone's not turning off customs. This guy's going to get left in the dust. But I'm not going to get left in the dust because I'm not going to use that car. Still has the pink stripes from when I was... Showing them to Kuhlman, who's considering getting cars, and he said, hey, this has pink stripes. Maybe she'd like that, but no. Nah. I'm still debating whether I want to leave that as is. Let it kind of pull out the uh, highlights of the Devastate. He's ready for the Rona. Nice. 
uncontact again, because that does, does make for sometimes a less interesting video. But. The best date ahoy. Interesting move, taking the uh, the lower jump there. Maybe that is the meta. Yeah, maybe that's not the meta. Okay. So there was a lack of skill moment. Right now we're gonna see if we can make it up with other skill-based moments. This isn't the, uh, the section I have this far for. This is the... This is where the handling cars will come in into their own. But we're gonna just try get in here. We're already up in two, but I don't think we're in third, really. I think that's why they're saying here. Boom. Okay, now we might be in third. Now we might be in second. Again, I don't know if catch-up turned out. Oh, that was a bad. <laughs> I hit the, tur the turbo just at the wrong time. Could have recovered that and turboed me into the wall. miles away from the uh, first place. Okay, we're rotating. I don't know why we're rotating. Why are we rotating this much? What's the... Oh, yeah, I, don't, I don't remember the button. Recover it. Go. Is it because I've been dinged a little bit? The arrow's off? Somehow we're down in fourth now, just from that little bit of rotational rotation. Third. My second man. Torpedo away. Get up, get up, get up, drop the bombshell. Oh, let's see here. Obviously, I've, I've been my own worst enemy in this movie. I have made a couple of really critical mistakes. Which the Devastate will be prone to do. It's not, you know, it's gonna snap. It's a little bit more snappy than the last car, you know what I'm saying? Do we have another lap to work with? Or can we get a clean lap? I'm not, I'm not going to take the, the short jump with the Devastate. It's, it's entirely too famous for me for not making jumps. I'm going to want to get as much lift out of this as I can. Let's keep the pressure on second. Wow, his first is gone. I mean, if I was, uh, if I had not made my mistakes, I'd probably be gone too. So I'm not gonna call, you know, call hacks on this. Again, that's an area where the Emirates is gonna do better. Let me get here. When my tube speed should kick in. This is a tube monster.
I've got the Emerus for power, but I just I don't have it for um for handle. He doesn't have to lift through there. Whereas I had to go lift it just to not crash out again like last time. And now I'm back to being a tube monster. Missed it. Missed the turbo on that one, but at least we kept it going straight. Don't rotate. What's the, is this? Is shift? Shift? Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the shift is. At least we brought it down. They're pulling away from me on this. I think the finish isn't that far away. So, fourth? Well, fourth is twice as good as eighth, right? Torpedo away. Wee, torpedo! Don't pump the sides. Let's we'll stick the landing. I didn't stick the landing. Yeah, we're gonna end up in fourth. But for some of my own mistakes, though. I mean, I can't blame the car on this one. Yep, no one, no one at all. The third. If somehow, oh, we have a chance. <laughs> what happened there? Was that lag? A last minute pass? What the heck happened there? Okay, third. I'll take a podium. However I get it. Wow, we're not even on the DNF timer yet. Yeah, if that's a stock RE7B, you, you know, this isn't going to be the, the course for you. Not enough top end. Great handling, but not enough curves to make it work, you know? And that's coming from someone who loves the RE7B. I really do. Da -da 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 There's your race end. You finished third. Somehow we took the, the Emerus at the end. Right at the line. I'm not sure what happened to him. The best state won. So it was the right choice of car. So she had, I, I had those couple of mistakes. The Krieger's caught and fall on something or just doesn't like the track. It's not a great track. Alright, one more. I got time for one more, I think. I'll back up City Air on that. And with the sports car races, there's not even a discussion. We'll just go right with the Tali. Uh, the GTO. La 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 I got time for one more race if it ever loads today. I got time for one more race if it ever loads today. Customs off. Your chat off. Did we record? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Your chat off. 
You're getting customs up the nose. Customs off, you get a level playing field. Customs on, you get a better driving experience. If you've got the customs. Then you get to pull your best times. So, it's still non-contact. So, we don't worry about Bumpy McBumpmeister. So, now this will be an interesting test. If I could get some clean laps... In the Italian. Then we can see if maybe Vile Rigid Regina here is either pulling really. By the way, yeah, this is just one, this one, so. I have to decide what to do with that. What do I do with this? It's a plain game black buffalo. Probably sell it. Probably. We should. Throw a bet down there. Just for the heck of it. And then win the race and then lose the bet. But if, uh, if, uh, Vile up there is pulling really high frame rates, well then, you know, that's gonna affect things. Not so much a cheat, mind you. It's just frame rates of frame rates in this game. For whatever reason, that gives you a boost if you're running a higher frame. If you get a really good graphics card, it's like dropping a nitro system with an extra cam or something, however you want to put it. it gives you better revs. Here we are in third again. Angle it. Not sure what happened there, how I got in this second. Behind, guess who? I felt like I was a little bit off on that launch. Or you come down in time, so that's all good. Pariah, that's an interesting choice. I mean, it's still got the, the top end, the best top end of anything in the game. Including supercars. See, it's the fastest top speed of anything that doesn't have a boost. GTO is no slouch, and you know, with the curb boosts in the tube, you might be able to pull comparable speeds. But it's going to depend on the curb boost effect. Pew. Now, if, if you know, Vile up there is in a uh, pariah, then I can almost justify. Uh, she's pulling away from me. If she's in another goat, well... No, please come down. Okay, we just made it. Alright, we're closing. This is good. I'd like to be at least... competitive. Ooh, new personal best. Which gives you an idea of how fast Vile is turning on laps here. Lifted there a little bit to get it out of it. Turn we I always tend to tuck it in that corner. That's always a weakness in mine. That's why I didn't do it this time. Keep it balanced. Keep it balanced. Look at the air that car is getting. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what the frame rates she's calling.
But again, to be fair, I am pulling a pretty good gap on everybody else, too. So, I mean, we're both... Yeah, I, I'm not saying she's got some kind of odd menu turbo here, but maybe just a little bit better frame rate, you know? If I wasn't recording, would I be right up there with her? Hard to say. I don't know what frame... I'm using LBS, I don't have a frame rate counter. I'm not using the frames. Almost overcooked that. But the Italian's got pretty good breaks, so here we go. Wee! Now someone's closing on me. See, it's doable. Probably that pariah. Come on, Itali, give me some. Not that! That's not what I wanted, Itali! Not a loop around, oh, that drops you right down to there. But we'll see, you had a moment of uh, thinking about what to say as opposed to how to drive. Normally I lift through there, I held it. Second? How do I end up in second? Somebody else had a worse moment, okay. Well, I won my bet. Not intentionally, but... Bang. So he took second. I wonder what happened to third. Third must be like lag glitching, bouncing all over the place. I wonder if that's the delivery that was on the podium car. It's like that wild. I think so. Yeah, it's the, the, the rock and roll livery there. Trying to explode. Oh, no. Hey, don't give up right then. You lost a position. You finished second. I'm okay with that. With the 505. Same car. That one, five, okay. So at least we got something. Only four seconds elapsed. So I mean, I don't think, don't think she's running a mod menu. Give you guys, gotta go. Just running quick. Oh yeah, we've got some kind of modder fuel. Uh, criminal damage too. Yeah, I could blow up a couple helicopters here, but what is this? Radioactive fallout? What's the what's the theme? Alright, you guys have fun with this. Okay, what? What's going on here? What's this little tableau? Like they've pulled over the truck or something. Now the nightshade's also on sale, and I could get another one. But again, this one's it's in similar a similar boat to the Tesseract, but it's just not. It's like it's low on torque, which is an odd thing to, to have from a Camaro. That's. And torque is one of those things that makes driving satisfying. Now, I mean, the handling is in a similar fashion to the, the Tesseract. It's nice and progressive, and you can slide around a lot with it. I wonder if they pick these for a reason. That be that same way. Okay, I didn't need to jump into the back of that car. That was. And I like this car, but if I ever wanted to get another one, it's not like it's that expensive, you know, it's... 
it's doable. You're saving a couple hundred grand getting one, but like, you know, my other character, I've only got like seven parking spaces left, so I don't think I'm gonna waste it on kind of a sluggish Camaro. It happens to be on sale and I've got one. I, can, I have the experience. And I, I don't know that I can customize it better than that with this look. It's looking good. I mean, you could throw some fake blowers on it and stuff, but... Now, where the heck is the entrance to this? There we go. Get this last daily before we continue on. So I'm not going to get another night too. I'm glad I got one. Don't think I need to unless I, you know, I... It doesn't have the stripes to be a bumblebee clone, so let's let's just forget about that for the time. And I'll golf while they do money drops. The um, the Tesseract though, you're saving what? 1.1 million. And it is used in transform races. So oh, there's that. You got that going for us. Not a perfect hit, but that was darn close. And it comes down to this. I want another Tesseract, even though it's probably an unreasonable thing. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it over hit that. Par for the course. And the nice thing about that is there's my last, well that's my last daily objective. There's one more daily objective to do. That's a daily. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's do this too, this. Where is it? Yeah, I've got no interest in the Tyrant, interestingly enough, and it's probably a better car. But this one is more interesting, you know? It's just more interesting. Drops us a little bit below 40, but we'll get back. Let's do the time warp again. Any moment. Any moment now. Come on. I have to seriously start thinking about whittling down some of the stuff in these garages too, but... This is my last space in the offices. Come on. I started recording because I thought I'd waited long enough. Ta-da! Wow, check out the cinematics on that. That was just beautiful. Now let's get it race ready. Modify. What are we doing today? What are you after? Makes like, sense in these troubled times, I guess. Front bumpers, rear bumpers, we're going to probably leave those alone. Right. Competition, no diffusers. Yeah, we'll put the secondary on to give it a little bit of orange. Secondary shocks. Lit shocks. What makes them lit? They're like lit up?
Tell you what, let's before we go to chassis, Technology let's do the respray stuff. So we can see what we're really dealing with here. Metallic. Still going for a blue. I don't know if I'm going for regular blue or dark. Ooh, dark blue. Dark blue has a certain sheen to it. So this sucks on. If you can think it, I can do it. Hmm, we'll get there. I guess we're, guess we're going almost with the same kind of look. Blue there, Mariner Blue, Harbor. With a pearlescent. <laughs> Midnight Purple, no. Some things just take away How from it. Bleached car? Brown. Why does Bleached Brown light that up so much? Okay, we're gonna go. Ultra blue kind of brightens it up a little bit, but I'm not sure. Where's diamond blue? Surf blue, diamond. Let's go give it a diamond touch. Secondary color, metallic. Now we're going completely. Ooh, we could go brown and make it like the um, the 811. But, you know, check out that orange. Life I mean, come on. You can have anything. Looks almost as good as you. Trim color. You've got an eye for the stuff. Spoiler. Just for just for a change of pace, let's give it the same kind of split arrows as we have on our devastator. Split arrow shouldn't get caught on anything. Gives you a nice view at the back. Wheels, we're just gonna do tires bulletproof. Good luck blowing those. Let's go to. Where was it? Chessy. Lit shock. Sorry, we got we got the orange that we're looking for, so that's fine. Livery. Hmm, now the roof flag kind of looks pretty good on that. I mean, none is fine. Don't get me wrong. I don't really think of this as an Italian car, but I guess it is. Sprunk it up, junk it up. <laughs> An interesting mix of colors there. Making decisions is stressful. Oh, the globe oil, that kind of works. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? That works too well. I mean, obviously, I could have gone with a more true uh, globe oil uh, blue. That's still pretty darn nice. Windows will leave alone in case, you know. Lights, yeah, we'll. we'll, we'll headlights, we should have xenons. As annoying as they are. I'm not putting lights on the, the bottom, I don't think. Plate. Go yellow and blue. See you later. Exit to garage three. And again, will it? Will it outperform much? Probably not. Am I happy it's here? Yes. 
for no other reason than it is fun to drive. It's it's kind of fun to slide it through the corners in a power drift. There's something about it. There's just, damn, yeah, there's just inexplicably something about the Tesseract. And the next time I'm in uh, that, whatever that one transform race is, it, it'll go, hey, he's got a custom. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Anyone else find this picture kind of funny? It's like the spies over here like, I am going to stab you. And the demo man's like, I'm going to shoot a grenade in your face.